Hi, I'm Rhett Miller from the Old 97s, and I'm here with Tom Wolfe, the best-selling author of such modern classics as The Right Stuff, The Bonfire of the Vanities, A Man in Full, and his new novel, I Am Charlotte Simmons. I, I have a guess as to what might have drawn you to this subject, which is um, your son's current enrollment in the university. But um, for the sake of our viewers, would you mind filling us in? It just dawned on me, it was really was in the, in the 80s and early 90s, that a lot of stories were coming out of colleges uh, about co-ed dorms, about political correctness, about all sorts of things. And there was almost nothing written about it. There, was, there were some good college novels written from the viewpoint of faculty. But I was interested, you know, what are, what are students thinking about? I don't know, what are, they, what are they doing? You did a great deal of research, I'm assuming, for this. How did you go about insinuating yourself into the college world? I looked upon it just another form of, of reporting, and, and I found that college students enjoy talking about themselves. We all do. Here I'm talking to you about me. <laughs> uh, but they do too, and they kind of want people to, to know about their, their lives, and as long as it's not going to be, the results are not going to be something directed against, against them. Uh, so I find it wasn't, was not really all that difficult. I never arrive at some place and say, hey, I'm Tom Wolf and I'm here to <laughs> find out what's going on. I just, I always try to work one person and then if I can meet somebody else through that person, I'll do it that way. Probably there's a great deal of sex in college, if you're lucky. And, um, and uh, how did you go about dealing with the writing of that? <laughs> Girls, I found, will record their amours uh, in detail. Uh, whereas boys don't. That, that was last night. And they're always forward, forward looking. Uh, but the difference, the only thing that really surprised me was when the girls would record uh, what they did last night. Um, often they didn't know the, the guy's name. And they would say, you know, uh, guy in green Wu-Tang t-shirt. Uh, and, uh, and one girl had little symbols for, the letters were for the particular s sexual activity that went on. and then. Then the numbers were for ratings between one and ten. Things are moving um, ever more quickly towards a very post-post <laughs> world where it's all kind of anything goes. Uh, I will I will say this: sex or the, the, the sexual uh, fever, I think, is a constant atmosphere on campuses. But not everybody is involved. I mean, one of the main characters in this book. I am Charlotte sure Simmons is a senior male who's a virgin. And he hides this fact because he thinks it's terrible that anyone might find out that this is, uh, that this is true. And he takes a great interest in the main character, Charlotte Simmons, because she's a freshman, she's from the mountains, she seems very innocent. And he figures, well, she won't know if I don't do it right. Uh, and uh, it's, there's so much, this was true, in, when I was that age too, there's so much status uh, wrapped up in, in, in sex. Uh, you feel like you're rated according to how cool the, your partner is. Uh, you're rated uh, by how expert you may be. I mean, they all probably have just picked up this book by the, the, the porn star, how to make sex like a porn star. Um, did she say make love? No. Jenna Jameson, how to, yeah. Ha, yeah, how to have sex like a porn star. Yeah. I don't think she would say make love. I no, think no. that <laughs> I think that that would be too much. Yeah, she wouldn't be that hypocritical. <laughs> in your time at these college campuses and uh, during your research and um, imagining yourself to be a college kid once again, albeit a female college kid perhaps, um, <laughs> did uh, other did you come across any? music, other than my band, Old 97s. <laughs> um, did you come across any music that you well, liked? Mostly, I mean, in the morning, they weren't listening to Old 97s. <laughs> in, in the mornings, <laughs> no. Um, there was a, a lot of rap. Yeah. Um, in fact, it's my son who keeps me up to date on, sure. on rap, more, more, <clears throat> more or less. Um, a lot of Dave Matthews 
type of uh, frat rock. I mean, frat rock, I guess. <laughs> um, people like the Beatles were antiquity, um, you know, kind of beloved antiquity. Um, they were fair, they were fairly open. So for dances, if they have a band, they like uh, reggae. Yeah. Um, but it was pretty much, I would say. Um, uh, rap and a kind of danceable, danceable rock, I guess you'd say. Yeah. Um, and of course, there are people who, there are always people who love heavy metal, for example. Sure. And Heshers. And uh, and country, country rock is rednecks. <laughs> <laughs> um, but I didn't see anything that, to me, was a surprise. Yeah. Well, I can't tell you how great this has been. I, I feel honored to be able to have spoken with you and, and just to be in your company. This is really great. And um, I can't wait to get a copy of the book. I'm hoping it's not too under wraps. <laughs> no, uh, Rhett, you'll get, the, um, you'll get the first copy out off the press. Yes. There. And there'll be some, there'll be, I guess they're going to be manufactured next month. So, um, great. I really appreciate you having me on the, uh, the show. Yeah, well, next week we'll have, just kidding. This has been great. Thanks a lot. <laughs> Fantastic. You're welcome. Bye.